Okay guys, these are the sweet potatoes that was left in my dining room floor. As you can see, they're not very big. We've been eating on them for several months now and still had this dish pan full. All the big ones that are about this size have been taken to the cellar and we haven't even touched those yet. We've been eating on these little small ones like this for several months. I also canned quite a few sweet potatoes. Today, we're going to be steaming sweet potatoes. First off, I take and wash and then peel these sweet potatoes. They're small, but there's still a lot of potato to them. The peelings go in our bucket for our pigs, so they will get some benefits from the sweet potato peeling. I cut the little potatoes into round slices and put them on a steaming tray. I add that tray to some water and put the lid on and then we cook it until those potatoes are done approximately 15-20 minutes. Here we have about 12 of the small potatoes peeled and cubed. We're adding them over in and when you put it in it kind of folds it up makes your little steam basket the water is in the bottom it touches the bottom of the potatoes we're going to put the lid on and we have it turned on high for a few minutes till it starts boiling and then we'll turn it down and we'll check them in a few minutes Steam has been coming out for about 10 minutes, so we're going to check them and see how tender they are. And you see that the fork just slips right in. And this is at 10 minutes. These potatoes are done. I'm gonna let them sit about 10 minutes, turn the fire off, and we will add something to them to make them the perfect side potato for supper. I've transferred the sweet potatoes to this bowl that can be put in the oven if I need to, and we are adding Deep Southway sugar cane. Sweet potatoes steamed with sugar cream syrup from Deep South Homestead. Steamed sweet potatoes, the Deep South way.